Hey guys, my name is Ilona and I'm so excited to see you here on my YouTube channel. And in this very quick tutorial, I will show you how to set this nice text animation with pretty cool distortions. And actually, I create this animation based on the reference. Right now you can see it on the screen. But I will modify it and make it even more interesting a bit later. And of course, I will show you how. And before we start, uh, I have to ask you to subscribe my channel, hit a like and drop a comment because you probably know that it really helps me and my channel, you know, to work better in algorithm, you know, on YouTube. Okay, if you did it, let's jump into new composition. First of all, let's create the background. I will use uh, the rectangle uh, with very nice pink gradient. And then I will draw a straight blue line. Okay. I have to align it according to the guideline here. And to make it perfectly, make sure that you have this, you know, this picture here um, is on. Snap to guides, I mean. Okay, now everything should work much, much better. Okay, cool. And then I delete fill. I don't need any fill. I need only stroke. And add repeater. Yep. Let's set amount of copies and transform probably 60. 63 will be enough. Okay, great. I moved the repeater to the shape, exactly to the shape. And now I can duplicate this shape together with repeater and rotate it. Okay, and rotation here. Okay, perfect. Now we have the lines. Uh, let's rename it very quickly. Nice, and I will add uh, the new effect. Uh, it will be turbulence. Turbulent displays. Perfect. You can set it as you need, so maybe it's too much. Okay, and I will add the very quick uh, expression to the evolution. And it creates, you know, pretty nice animation to the lines. Okay, I think it's fine for now. We can edit it if it's necessary a bit later. Yeah, I think it's great for now. And now let's add uh, the text. Okay, align it. And move it to the precompose. Inside this precompose, I'm gonna add layer style and it will be bevel and emboss. And of course, I have to set it and make it more obvious. And it should be pretty smooth, actually. Okay, great. And one more layer style, it will be it will be inner glow, but I will use um, darker, you know, color for this inner glow and different modes, maybe multiply. And of course, make it a bit bigger and more obvious. Yeah, I think now it's much better. So we don't have, you know, pure white color on the edges. So it also, it's also very important. Okay, cool. And also, I don't like these sharp, you know, angles and uh, sharp borders of the text. So I'm gonna add uh, very quickly fast box blur effect. Increase uh, radius. I think I think it works pretty cool. And the next effect will be curves. And using alpha channel, I will set the borders, rounded borders for them, for the text. 
Okay, I think it's much better. Maybe we can edit a bit our, our layer styles, but right now it's pretty nice for the test. Okay, let's turn off it for now and uh, I will add uh, one more effect to the line and it will be displacement displacement map and here we will use as a map our text per comp let's do it right now and change the mode so we will use luminance now increase the parameter and you probably see that we have very nice distortions based on this grayscale map that we created a second ago so pretty cool and as you can see it reacts on the animation of the lines so very very easy but at the same time looks very cool i will turn on the text precompose and now i have to change the layers layer mode because I don't need grayscale you know here in the final render and I will use overlay yay and now we have kind of transparency for the text okay perfect let's duplicate this precompose and I will add curves and I'm gonna make uh, the flare of the text more you know obvious and more bright and maybe just like this okay you can just experiment here with the great with the curves and get flares exactly that you need and also i really like to work with blue channel and add some nice shading nice tint yeah i think it's much much better and more interesting so we have new purple you know shading here and and it's really cool okay so it looks nice but it's too static for me so i'm gonna add uh, the wiggle expression and it will be looped wiggle to the text you can find it actually in google it's super easy to find i've already have it and i will paste it immediately so i open position and paste it here and we have six seconds uh for the loop let me show you yeah some floating you know letters uh we also can um add mask make animation even more interesting i mean just just select exactly um, different different letters, yeah. Cool. And now they move, you know, separately. And uh, you will see that it also reacts um, on our distortions. And again, looks very nice. So you can work with the shading. You can work with uh, animation of the lines. And uh, I completely forget to add uh, the shadow. Let's do it. So drop a shadow. Or you can add a drop shadow here using layer style. Yeah, I think it's much better. And actually, purple works better here for these graphics, for this contrast. And now I will show you how to add even more cool distortions on the background. And for this goal, I will use data mode from plug and play. It's a paid ad, it's true, but also I have to say that I've already subscribed on their tools and use it in my workflow. And I seriously feel how I started working faster with their tools. I definitely recommend you to check their extensions because they have a lot of useful tools, uh, especially because first two weeks are for free. So you can test it, you can experiment it and decide if you want to subscribe. So yeah, we'll use data mosh. Let me show how we will work with it. But first of all, I have to create the new black and white map. 
Okay, let's change the colors. We don't need stroke for sure. And I will change the gradient settings. So I will use radial. Okay, it's super sharp. I don't know why. Oh, we have one more marker here. Okay, perfect. Let's call it as a map. And start it somewhere here. Yep. I will turn off for now these text uh, precomposes and displacement map effects as well. So we have only these backgrounds. Yeah. And I believe that we need 10 seconds. Okay. And now we need to add. Um, we need to add a new uh, effect here, yeah? I will use... Uh, here we, you will find actually a lot of different presets, a lot of different um, uh, modificators, uh, how exactly you want to add your distortions. But probably I will use... Just, just add to X and Y. I think it could work pretty cool here. Okay, let's set it from 6 and somewhere here. So, 4 seconds of distortions. Okay, nice. Let's cut our layers. Okay, and if you open this parameter, you will see that we have a checkbox use map. So, we definitely need it. And we have new marker. Let's set the same timing. Okay, and move it, move it here where we actually have our map. Okay, great. I will increase the intensity. Yep, and now we can press this amazing huge purple button. Let's do it. Okay, magic happened and just look at these incredible pixel distortions that we have. Just wow, just wow, it's amazing. So as you can see where we have black color, we don't have, you know, huge distortions or we don't have any distortions at all. And where we have white color, we have, you know, pretty obvious distortions and it looks Fantastic. And here into this clip, um, to this uh, footage, I would like to copy and paste displacement map effect, turn on it. And yeah, we have text uh, SMF here. And you see that we actually see how our text reacts on these changes, on these very cool distortions. Just look at this. Yeah, fantastic. And if you turn on text precomposes uh, and put it above uh, the new footage, you will see that everything you know reacts inside these uh, letters as well. So it's super awesome. I'm a huge fan of you know different distortions, and you can you can experiment with uh, uh, settings of data mosh and get very very nice results and use it as transitions or just uh, as an artifact just like you need, just like you want. So again, stay creative and you will get very nice results. But personally, I think that we also have to experiment a bit and use move vertical mode uh, and also change a bit the map. Let's use uh, this time linear, linear gradient. Okay, somewhere here. So we have distortions here and we don't have any distortions on the right side. Yep. Okay, perfect. And again, press data mosh button. Okay, let's check and you see. Just look at this. I think this option looks even better. Let's add again our text. 
and displacement map to the new footage here. Okay, and final, final review. Yeah, I just love it. Yeah, let's stay with this option because I really like it. I really like it and think it looks even better than when we use just radial map. So again, experiment with this effect, experiment with uh, all previous effects and you will get pretty cool results. Also, I remind you that this project file and all past project files, I have more than 100 project files, you can find on my Patreon. Link in the description, select little broad tier and grab project files and also exclusive videos. Yeah, I've already recorded exclusive videos for my dear patrons. And yeah, support me and my channel and at the same time, you know, learn more uh, using these assets. Special thanks to these incredible people who already support me on Patreon. Guys, I want you to know that you're amazing. Thank you. I really appreciate your support, your help in these very dark times. And yeah, thanks one more time. Thanks everyone for being here. Stay creative, experiment with different techniques, get amazing results and see you in the next video. Bye guys.